Hey everyone, Cora here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a ball, a 3D ball in Photoshop. And I got the idea of this tutorial from a good friend of mine by the name of MassGFX. Showed us how to do it on planets, and I said, hey, it, that'd probably look cool on a ball. So if you want to check him out, he makes great tutorials. Uh, the link to his channel is in the description, and I, I would advise you guys to check him out because he is awesome. But uh, let's get started. First, what you want to do is hit print screen on your keyboard. Then, what we're going to do is go to File, New. And as you can see, now we have the width and the height of our screen. Hit OK. First, what we want to do is we want to double click this, change it into a layer, and then we're going to make our background. So uh, what I like to do with the background is I like to fill it in with black. Boom. And then I like to change the background color to, uh, to a gray, which is 333, 333. That's the one I use. And then I go over to my brush, change it from uh, whatever it is to 65 soft, turn it the whole way up, and then click in the middle. And there we have our background. Then what I like to do is hit a new layer, and now we're going to make our floor. So I do the exact same thing as my background, except for I change it from gray to white. So I fill it in with black, switch to the white, hit my brush, click in the middle. Doesn't have to be the same spot, but a click in the middle, and there we go. Then I go to my rectangle or marquee tool, select out however big the floor I want it to be, uh, select it to the top, and then hit delete, and there we go. Now I got a floor and a background and it's just like on um you know like people that do 3d intros they always have a floor and a background and that's what uh, we got here so make a new layer make sure you make a new layer come up here now we're gonna go to the elliptical marquee tool and make our ball so hold down shift and make the ball however big you want that looks good right there and uh, then go to your gradients and uh, I like to use a black and a red black and blue whatever always make it black and something and then make sure you choose the radial right here. Uh, it's usually on this one. Make sure you hit this one, and also make sure you're on the red to black or whatever the color, the, whatever the color is. We're gonna click in the middle, hold down Shift, and drag out to the left, however far we think is best. And there, as you can see, it's light in the middle, dark on the outside, and that's what we want. So next, we're gonna make a new layer, and now we're gonna add the white to it. So what I like to do is I like to change the red to a white, and then change the black to uh, a gray or a silver. And uh, the, the color I always use is uh, CCC, CCC, and uh, that's what I use. So I, I make sure the gray is on the inside and then the white's on the outside. So click in the middle again. Make sure you're on a new layer because if you don't, you're going to mess up your ball. And then it's just drag it out however far, you looks, however far you think looks good. So that's what we got. As you can see, we can turn that off. There's our ball. There's the white overlapping it. Then go over to your eraser. Choose whatever size you want. Um, what, it all depends on how big your... Uh, your um your ball is I choose 200 and uh, what you want to do and now my mem my eraser isn't showing up sometimes it doesn't and I'm sorry I have these crosshairs but usually you your eraser will show up and it'll show you where to erase I'll show you how like what it looks like but all you have to do is just click around the inside and what you want to do is you want to try to get the white on the outside and like almost nothing you want some but but barely any on the like the bottoms and the left of where the lights not facing and um, you know that looks pretty oops that looks pretty good right there you know it's not the best it would be better if I could see where my eraser is but uh, I don't feel like redoing this so yeah so as you can see we got some white down here but not a lot and then we have more up to the top which is our lights gonna be up here and that's why if you were to put your light over here then you want more white over here and yeah so what you want to then do is hold down shift um, click your your ball and then hit Control E, and what that's going to do is merge them together. So now we got the ball how we want it. Now we're going to hold down Control and click our background just to center this up. Make sure you're on the arrow, and then you can hit both of these and center it, or however you want, you know. But I like it centered. And then hit Control J, and what that's going to do is it's going to duplicate our ball. So now we have a duplicate of it. Um, double click it. Go to color overlay and change it to black. And what this is, is this is going to be our shadow. And now the reason why I duplicate it is because then the shadow is the exact same uh, like width of the ball. Then hit control T. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drag it down to as far as it'll go. Oops. I should rephrase that. As far as it'll go before it passes itself. It'll like stop you right here. Now you, if you want a bigger shadow, you know, you can go up here. It's all preference. But um, I'm going to drag it. And maybe a little bit more up. You know, just guess however you want it. There we go. That looks good. And then come up to a filter, a blur, Gaussian blur, and then anywhere from like, let's see, three, 
yeah, three to eight looks pretty good. Um, it's all preference. I'm like, I'm gonna do five maybe. Five looks good. Make sure you drag that below your ball. That way, it's uh, underneath the ball. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to move it so it's down a little bit more. That way, it looks like it's actually shadowing the ball and not like behind it or whatever. Now, what we're gonna do is um, add in our light. So make sure you're in a background. Um, now you could add the light above it, uh, make a new layer, add a light or whatever. Um, but I don't like it on the floor. I think it looks, I think it looks better just in the background. So uh, I click the background, which is the gray right here. Go up to file. Nope. Go up to filter. Sorry, filter. Go to render lens flare, and then uh, I choose 105 millimeter prime, 100, and I click it right up in the corner. And uh, what that's gonna do is it's gonna shine light down. Uh, this is supposed to be the light as you can see and then uh, the lens flare is on the background and also behind the ball and not overlapping and not also and also not on the floor uh, now we're gonna try to we're gonna move our our, um, our shadow so it looks like it's like coming from the light so if, since the lights here we're gonna move it back here some that way it's behind the ball um, now this part right here will still cast a shadow so that's why I keep it like that and I don't move it the whole way back like here but um, you know, just it's all preference at all, however you want, you know. But here's the light. Here it's hitting the ball, and then it's casting a shadow behind it. And then the last thing I do is I click on the the floor. I make a new layer. I fill it in with black. Fill it in with black. And then I hit um, soft light. Yeah, soft light. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make it look like the light is just illuminating right here. Uh, where it's at and also the the sides will be dark you know even by the light it's a little dark but it looks good and then uh, one more thing is I right here on the background I add some text I make it white and I'll put in game vids because that's who I am not really I'm Corey but yeah and then uh, hold down control so we're gonna center this and that looks good kinda like that but uh, as you can see it, it pops out too much so uh, go from normal blend mode to soft light or overlay I think overlay looks good because then since the lights here it's brighter and then since the lights not here it's darker but there we go we got our ball so we're gonna save it um, JPEG ball background yep I don't know I have, I have a lot of them make sure you're saving in the highest quality possible which is 12 and now we're gonna set it as our background also let me know if you guys want a tutorial on how to make this uh, I think this is awesome and this might be the next tutorial I make. And also, if you guys need Photoshop, uh, you can go to my website. There's a downloads link, and then Photoshop's down there. And if you need help knowing how to install that, uh, it's really simple. But I did make a video, but uh, someone advised me I should delete it. And so I did, just so I can't get in trouble from YouTube and then spend, suspend me or delete my account or whatever, because I don't want that. That is bad. So, uh, But you guys can get Photoshop for free on there. And uh, also let me know if you want to know how to make this as my next tutorial. And now we're going to right click, set it as our background. So as you can see, game vids, the light, the ball, here's the light on the ball, the shadow, and then some darkness over here because the light's not hitting here. And uh, there we go. It's really simple. Uh, if you guys have any questions, need any help, leave a comment below. I'll try to help you out and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day.